Greetings. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the tiles format in Latte, and then how you can also customize those tiles. So when you're in the course, you want to go scrolling down to find the edit settings section, which is down here under administration. Select that. Once you're on this page, you'll go to course format. And once you have course format, you right here want to change the format from whatever it is to tiles. Now when you do that, you're going to be given a secondary menu uh, and it's going to give you a couple different options. The first is you can choose different icons. So if you select that, it will give you a bunch of different icons that you can choose from um, that you may want to select. Um, if none of these are appealing, that's fine. You can stick with the one that's already there. Uh, and it'll also give you a couple other options. You know, do you want to show the, pro the progress within each section? So you could do it as a fraction or you could do it as a percentage circle. So I'm just going to select that as a point. Uh, it will tell you, you know, if you do this, then it's important to have uh, completion tracking on and what that means. Select OK. And then we're going to hit Save and Return. Now, once you do that, you will see these are all the tiles. Now, one thing to note is these are reactive to your browser size. So if this browser was smaller, um, it would actually be fewer tiles. So you can see right here now, if I just adjust a little bit, it's now fewer tiles than what it was. So uh, just keep that in mind. You can't necessarily control the tiles um, or they'll be reactive to the particular environment. All right, so now a little bit about customizing these. So you have the little percentage and then you don't have really much else going on. If you want to play around with those, you want to come down again to uh, your administration tab and turn editing on. Once you do that, it reloads the page again and then these are your tiles. Select any particular tile and go over here to edit, edit section. And right down here, you can pick a new icon or a background photo. So I'm going to select this one. And again, you have a couple options. You can use tiles if you, there's a photo library you want to depend upon, or if you want to upload a new photo. I'm going to select upload a new photo and I can choose the file or I can simply drag and drop it. So I'm going to drag and drop and then I'm going to save changes. And now you can see there's the image that I uploaded. So what this will look like to users is we'll turn editing off and it will show up like that. So pretty simple to do. It allows you to kind of create a little more visual environment for uh, the users and is really simple to do. So if you have any questions, look forward to hearing from, from you. Thank you.